Hi guys, so I'm just going to show you guys how to get a, a reshade up and running in games inside of your Steam Deck. Uh, this is, this is going to work for DirectX based games, 32 bit and 64 bit. So, first of all, what we're going to need is a D3D compiler slash 47.dll. If you're trying to get reshade working in 64 bit games, then obviously you need the 64 bit version. So, you download that. To be fair, I'm not quite exactly sure if <laughs> either of these versions is correct, but I'm just you know, going to roll with it. So you copy and paste into whatever folder you want. Uh, you need to extract this. We're going to extract it and use it later. I've already extracted it, so I'm not going to show it. Obviously, you guys know how to do that. And uh, what we need next is the shaders themselves and the textures for the shaders. So we go to this page and download that too and we're going to extract that and put it in another folder as well. Now, the last thing that we need is reshade itself. So we go to the reshade website and click download and download uh, whatever one we want. You can go for the latest. I don't feel comfortable with the latest. Okay so we got these things downloaded. Now we need to unzip them and sort things up together. I've already done that. So over here in this folder I have the reshade.exe ready over here. First, what we're going to do is just extract it. Yep, we're extracting a exe. Okay, so this is extracted. We don't need this anymore. What we need now is to create a new folder, name it whatever, let's just call this reshade now since we're installing reshade inside of a 64-bit game we're going to take the reshade 64.dll and the reshade 64.json copy paste them put them inside the reshade folder this reshade folder is what we're going to use for our games all right after that what we're going to do is rename these so the reshade 64.dll is going to be renamed to dxgi.dll and the reshade 64.json is going to be renamed to reshade 64.ini yes we're almost done now the d3 D compiler slash 47 DLL that we just downloaded recently we put that in here too take the reshade shaders and textures whatever drag that in here too there you go now what we're gonna do is this reshade uh, uh, this folder that we just made right which we put all this stuff in and we did this renaming up so what we're gonna do is copy this Grab a USB or a, or a external hard drive or whatever, and we're going to plug it into our Steam Deck. We're going to go into desktop mode, and uh, I'll see you on the deck. Okay, so now that we've pasted our files into our Steam Deck, you know, transfer them with a USB or whatever, obviously you need to be in uh, desktop mode to do so. So here are the files that we just copied in into our deck. Now what we're going to do is select them all and copy. Now what we need to do is go into our library, go to the game where you uh, go to which game you want to install it in. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I just downloaded this right now. It's a fresh install. So uh, you right click manage, browse local files, here we are, we're in the directory of the game and obviously we need to paste all of these files where the exe of the game is. Sorry, I don't know how to screen record on the deck. Here we go. We pasted these four files that we just taken from our computer into the directory of the game we want to install it on. Now, I'm just gonna, we can do it here, but I'm just gonna go back to game mode. 
Okay, we're back in game mode. I'm just gonna boot up Horizon Zero Dawn. Here you're gonna see that V-Shade is gonna initialize. Right here, right now. There we go. Right there. Right there. It's up and running. So, uh, yeah, it's a fresh install. So obviously it's asking you to set it up to set up the effect on and off hotkey oh but first your shaders aren't really here i'm going to show you what to do to fix that so obviously you need a hotkey for the effects toggle i go with slash now to make our uh shaders and effects appear first we need to do is uh going to effects search path First click the minus, then plus. Then this pops up. Now go to reshade shaders. Then click shaders and click select. Now we also need to insert the texture search path. So obviously you need a minus and then plus. The same thing, shaders, textures, select. Go back to home, reload. There you go, it's all there. And now you can use any shader you like. Obviously, what I just showed you guys, I was using the Vibrance shader. I set it to 407. I turned this up to 1850, 1807 or whatever, yeah. Hey, there you go. It's in effect. I hope this helped you all a lot. Pretty useful for a game like Horizon. Because it is a pretty colorful game. Oh, my bad. I just forgot one last step before I finish this tutorial. You don't want to go through this entire hassle of setting up the shaders and texture path every time you want to inject, you know, reshade into a new game. Luckily, what we just did now, and we just exited the game, uh, a preset has been made. So all that we need to do is go back to desktop mode, copy the files out of Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever game you use to make it for, and uh, create a folder and place these this newly fresh reshade preset or whatever, bunch of folders in your documents or wherever. And use that in any other game you want. And you won't have to go through this annoying... Uh, set a process of finding the paths for the shaders and textures, you know, getting reshade to actually work once it's in. So I'm just gonna go back to the Horizon Zero Dawn folder. Now, as you can see here, upon launching reshade and using it, reshade preset ini was made, dot ini. This is important. Take this, copy it, Go right over here, uh, you know, the folder that you copied into your Steam Deck from your PC and paste it here. Now you have Reshade completely set up in your Steam Deck. In whatever new game you install, right? You want to use Reshade. You don't want to go through an, anno uh, an annoying process of setting it up within the GUI. Just go back to this folder that you've created and copy all of these five uh, for, uh, five files and uh, put them in the directory of the game you wish to install uh, you wish to use it in and it'll work perfectly in fact you won't even have to reset the values of the shaders that you're using the effects will be on immediately by default the same settings and uh, there's literally nothing for you else to do. The only thing you have to do is drag and drop these into the directory of the game you wish to use it in. And that is it. This initial process of setting up the shader path and the texture path and the hotkey, that's over now. You don't have to do that. As long as you now are having this reshade preset.ini in your folder where you're keeping all of these other files. All right, I'm going to go back to... Uh, finishing my homework, and maybe taking a nap. I hope this helped. Goodbye.